Hey, this is legitimately big news. We have been tracking endorsements in the presidential race. We are the first national news outlet that started doing this. Um, and I think we finally hit pay dirt. We're three weeks and a few days out from the election. Um, and we have been on track all this time for something that has never happened before. A major party presidential nominee getting zero endorsements from a daily newspaper in this country. But today, we can update our chart. Today, big news. Today in California, a little paper called the Santa Barbara News Press, they endorsed Donald Trump, the first and only newspaper in the country that has picked him. Just got new metrics in. Donald J. Trump is the president of the United States elect. Republicans, you are on the board. Mazel tov. Election is three weeks from over. And we're coming to a point where if you're Hillary Clinton, you're honestly probably starting to think about not just whether you will win, but how big your win will be. The president elect of the United States of America, Donald Trump. But it may also just be that she's confident enough that she's gonna win that she's now just trying to win big. In terms of electoral probabilities right now, the New York Times, they give Hillary Clinton a 91% chance of winning the election. It, uh, we can now project the winner of the presidential race, CNN projects. Donald Trump wins the presidency. At 538.com, they give her an 88.7% chance of winning the election. Predict-wise, that prediction market, they give her a 91% chance of winning. The Princeton Election Consortium says Hillary Clinton's chances of winning the election on November 8th are 97% for whatever that's worth. ...to realize his or her fullest potential. The forgotten men and women of our country will be forgotten no longer. So maybe she's going for red states because she's looking for a Goldwater style landslide. This means that Donald Trump will be the 45th president of the United States, winning the most unreal, surreal <laughs> election we have ever seen. And so in the face of those horrific swing state numbers, Donald Trump spent the day today in Maine. He's not going to win Maine. What is he doing in Maine? Even if he did win Maine, he loses all those other states. NBC has just called Maine for Hillary Clinton. She gets three electoral votes while Trump gets one. They have a split uh, kind of decision there in which one of the electoral votes is determined by one of the congressional districts. Get that one electoral vote out of that somewhat more conservative congressional district in Maine, even though it's never, ever awarded its electoral vote separately from the rest of the state before. Theoretically, it's possible. So maybe that's what he's doing. I mean, it's still a weird thing to focus on when you're losing Florida and Ohio. With its 29 electoral votes, Donald Trump wins Florida. We have a major projection right now. Donald Trump will take Ohio. See he's not going to win Maine. What is he doing in Maine? So maybe that's what he's doing? I mean, it's still a weird thing to focus on when you're losing Florida and Ohio. <laughs> Donald Trump has the best day in the entire world, completely outperforms expectations, and he wins all of the toss-up states. He wins all five of those states plus that electoral college vote in Maine that he's after. If he wins all of the toss-ups, which would be insane because nobody wins all of the toss-up states, even if Donald Trump did win all of the toss-up states, he would still lose. Donald Trump, he's walking up right now. You see him right there. He's going to be speaking momentarily. He's got his wife there. History has been made. Jake, this is a moment a lot of people are going to remember. 